In today's video, we are going to talk about rabbit testicles common problems and their symptoms. Just like humans, male rabbits also experience testicle issues. The male rabbits have their own testicles that commonly drop during 9 up to 20 weeks of their age. So if you think that your pet rabbit has not been fixed, the simplest way to do is to look for its testicles if he is already old enough. When your pet rabbit is at a young age or has been neutered, you will be required to inspect its genitals. Just gently put your finger on each side of the rabbit's genitals and open it and lightly place pressure downward. You may inspect what goes out, sometimes, it's the rabbit's penis that first pops out. There is also a possibility that the penis does not show out, this commonly happens in a younger rabbit. You may notice a long tube like with a small circular shape opening. A female rabbit commonly has a more slit-like opening than male rabbits. The following are the common problems of the rabbit's testicles together with their symptoms. Unlike many other mammals, the canal connecting the abdomen to the scrotum, the inguinal canal, does not fully close after the testicles descend. This means a buck's testicles can travel back up the inguinal canal slightly. Bucks often retract their testicles back into the inguinal canal to keep the testicles warmer on cold days and let them descend when it is warm. The testicles also get retracted when he is fighting or scared, outside of the rabbit breeding season, spring-summer, or has a full stomach. This movement, especially due to temperature changes or stress, can easily be confused with changes in the size of the testicles. Testicular Cancer This is the common problem that the rabbit's testicles usually encountered. It commonly happens among unneutered male rabbits. Testicular cancer among rabbits does not show a lot of symptoms other than the testicles become large, and the rabbit begins to lose weight. The best way to prevent this common problem is by neutering the rabbit while it is still at a young age. Doing such neutering not only prevents testicular cancer but also helps reduce the aggressive behavior of the rabbit. The best way to avoid testicular cancer is by neutering the rabbit to a vet when it reaches its six months. Genital infections or pastoralosis. These infections are usually caused by a number of different organisms. The common signs that you may first notice are the inflammation of the rabbit's reproductive tract that is typically seen in adult rabbits. They do have more tendency to infect than the bucks. When both horns of the rabbit's uterus are affected, they do frequently become infertile. The one and only symptoms of an infection in the uterus of the rabbit may become the thick, yellowish-gray color of the vaginal release. While the bucks may emit pus that comes from the urethra or it has been made, the testicle becomes large. It's a long-term infection that can be passed while it is on the breeding stage, so those animals who got infected should not be bred. Your vet may advise doing a surgical removal on the infected reproductive organs that follows antibiotic usage for your pet rabbits. The findings of the genital infections are based on the symptoms and some laboratory tests that discern the bacteria. The treatment is quite difficult and may not fully remove the organism, those antibiotics are just used to give a temporary suspension. Female rabbits are more prone to such reproductive disorders than male rabbits, some may be shown during pregnancy after they give birth or either transmit after sexual intercourse. Treponematosis Genital disease among rabbits caused by a bacteria called treponema. It commonly occurs in both female and male rabbits that transfer through sexual intercourse. It can also be transmitted from the doe into its baby rabbit. These kinds of genital diseases are not transmissible to other domestic animals as well as humans. Treponematosis forms into small blisters and forms a slow healing sore that becomes layered with a heavy wound. These wounds are located into the genital region, not its lips, as well as its eyelid, can somehow also involve. Those infected rabbits could not be allowed to mate. Detection is still based on the symptoms and on laboratory tests to figure out the bacteria. Your vet may inject a penicillin G to fully get rid of the genital disease. If you have a group of rabbits in one cage, all rabbits in such a group must be required to be treated even if they are not showing some symptoms. After 10 to 14 days, the sores may commonly heal, and the rabbits that fully recover will be allowed to breed without risk of transmitting the infection. Ketosis Ketosis, or also known as pregnancy toxemia, is an unusual disorder that can become deadly in about 1 to 2 days before they give birth. Ketosis is more usual for those first litter does. The possible thing might may include obesity and lack of exercise. Signs of ketosis include loss of appetite, difficulty in breathing, lethargy, and even dullness of their eyes. The usual remarkable in their physical changes are having fatty deposits in their liver as well as their kidneys that commonly notice after their death. Your vet may inject some fluid that has glucose that may eventually correct the disease. It may also help if you breed the does at an early age before they become too fat. Mastitis this is commonly known as the inflammation of the mammary glands of the rabbit that affects feeding the does and can go forward into a blood infection that quickly becomes the reason for death. 
Mastitis is commonly caused by a bacteria called staphylococcal, but there are also tendencies that other types of bacteria can be involved in. The first sign is the mammary gland of the rabbit becomes hotter, reddened, and it may sometimes be swollen. After such a sign, it may become colored blue and is usually called the blue bag or the blue breast. The rabbit will begin not to eat, but they crave water. The fever is usually shown. If your vet advised you to use the antibiotic as treatment, the rabbit could definitely save its life, but it may damage one or more mammary glands. And because penicillin causes diarrhea in rabbits, those rabbits that are treated with an antibiotic may feed by hay or some other rabbit food that contains a high fiber diet. The baby rabbits should not be raised by another rabbit because there is the possibility that they may spread the infection. Petting of an infected baby rabbit can be done, but it seems to be difficult to do. The rate of mastitis can be lessened if their nesting box is maintained without any rough sides in the entrance. Another thing that you may do is to sanitize the nesting box before and after they used it. Inflammation. The testicles and surrounding tissue can become inflamed without bacterial infection, termed non-infectious orchitis or epididymitis. Common causes include bites or scratches from other rabbits, self-trauma, damage from the environment, or overheating of the area. There will be swelling, heat, and pain, but generally no discharge. Inflammation can be treated with rest, cold compresses, bandaging, and anti-inflammatory drugs. Observe testicular problems in your rabbit. Only a veterinarian can confirm the diagnosis of a testicular problem among rabbits. That's why it's important to seek the expert advice of a veterinarian and bring your pet to the vet clinic for assessment and prompt treatment. The veterinarian will provide expert advice on proper handling, grooming, diet, and activities you can provide to your pet rabbit with testicle problems. Also, medication or surgery might be required depending on the severity of the problem. By knowing the most common testicular problems of rabbits and their symptoms, you'll have a better idea of how to take good care of male rabbits. For instance, testicular cancer also occurs among rabbits in which their testicles become large, and they lose weight. It's very important to talk to a veterinarian if you start to observe testicular problems for the health and well-being of your pet rabbits. Bear in mind that a buck that is castrated cannot get many diseases of the testicles. It does not prevent infection or inflammation of the tissue that remains or systemic diseases like pastorosis but will prevent cancers, orchitis, and similar diseases. Many vets recommend all rabbits are castrated to prevent accidental breeding or fighting as well. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.